What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a Kyogre, Landorus, and Annihilate team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Annihilate, I actually haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit, so it's definitely going to be fun considering it counters one of the best Pokemon in the meta, Incineroar. Nightlife has Defiant as this ability, Safety Goggles as item, Fire Tire type with Rage Fist, Drain Punch, Bulk Up, and Protect, a moveset that you guys seen before on Annihilate. Now, our restricted Pokemon is going to be Kyogre, like we already mentioned, and Kyogre has been top tier in restricted formats ever since it's been released. It's got Drizzle, it's got Assault Vest, Thunder, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Water Spout. Our support Pokemon for today's team going to be Grimmsnarl, and if you guys know me, you guys know I love screens Grimmsnarl. This one's got Light Clay with Light Screen, Reflect, Thunder Wave, and Foul Play. That's just a beautiful moveset. Mwah. It's beautiful. It's a perfect moveset for Grimmsnarl. I absolutely love it. I mean, you could change Foul Play to Spirit Break, but either or works well. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Shen Pao, Amoongus, and Landers. Landers got that sheer force with the Life Orb doing big time crazy special attacking damage. Shen Pao, Swords of Ruin, doing big time crazy physical attacking damage. Then Amoongus is Amoongus. It's going to put Pokemon to sleep and support the team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing this Kyogre meta team. Going up against Miraidon in match number one, and this one is going to be tough considering we don't have any way of terrain control. Now, the Shen Pao have Ice Spinner. I didn't really check. I'm really hoping it does, and it does. So that actually helps us out up against Miraidon because we could take out terrain. That's big time for us. I absolutely love that. But who should we lead and how should we get after it? I could go Grimmsnarl for screens here considering they have obviously special and physical attackers and Grimmsnarl could work really, really well in that instance. We can also foul play Dragapult. Thunder Wave could work wonders here as well for speed control, so that's not bad. Kyogre we definitely want to bring, but the question is, do I want to lead Kyogre? Do I want to lead Kyogre? It does have the Grass Tire type, which is good up against me right on, so I kind of want to... I'm thinking of leading this Pokemon, right? I'm thinking of leading him. You don't have Protect, though, which is a little bit of a problem, especially with, like, Fake Out and stuff. Huh. I could go Amoongus. I could go Amoongus. I'm gonna go Grimstone here for the lead. I think going into like Annihilate could be good turn one, and then we'll go Kai Ogre and Chen Pao. That's the play. Lock it in, lock it down. Looking for a win here in match number one with this squad. I do love Annihilate. Annihilate's just so good. It really is. Ever since it's been released into Scarlet and Violet, I feel like, especially in like the lower formats where the Pokemon weren't as strong as like the restricted Pokemon, Annihilate was just a big time threat always. It's just so good. It's just such a solid Pokemon. I just like it all around. But they're going to end up leading me a ride on and Ogre Pond. So they can go for follow me. We definitely want to set up a light screen here. Um, do I light screen bulk up or do I light screen just like attack here? Definitely want to light screen. Um, I do have fire tire if I want to use it, but I kind of just want to go for a bulk up here. Because I can see follow me popping out here, right? I can definitely see follow me. I'm going to go for a bulk up here. Am I? No, because Electro Drift just still does so much damage. I'm, I'm going to go for Drain Punch. I'm going go for Drain Punch. So Light Screen going to fly here. i pop that off here. Let's see what Miradon goes for. Electro Drift, most likely. He goes for a Volt Switch Pivot. That's fine. He's going to Volt Switch Pivot. Actually still do great damage into my... Into my Grimstone. Bulk Up would have been a good play for us. I was just scared he was going to attack us with Electro Drift. But he's going to go into Iron Valiant. So Iron Valiant comes out here. It's Fighting and Fairy, so... My fighting move not going to do anything crazy. But it's also going to get that Cork Drive boost. With speed. Okay, so this thing is very fast. He's going to also lead seed. Are you kidding me? You're lead seeding? With Ogre Pond? That's so odd. Drain Punch going to fly here. Do about negative six damage. And I'm pretty much just going to swap my Annihilate. Just get rid of that lead seed. I'm not dealing with lead seed, right? I'm not dealing with that. I simply am not. So, from here we could swap into you. Um... I think I gotta start like thunder playing around. Or thunder waving. Or I could set up the reflect. I'm just gonna start thunder waving. I'm just gonna put paralyzes on pretty much everybody. I'm gonna paralyze you, and I'm just going to hard swap into Kyogre at this point. Actually, let's go Chimp out. Nope, you know what, Kyogre. I'm gonna save my focus sash on Chimp out. So let's start throwing some paralyzes around. No big deal. Let's get out our lovely little Kyogre. And. 
just get after our opponent. And I can't use water moves onto that thing, but Thunder Wave's gonna work for one this year. We love Thunder Wave. We love paralyzing. They get to paralyze off onto the Ogre Pond. I wonder if he's setting up another Leech Seed or what he's doing. There's the Moon Blast. We have Vest, so we soak all day with Light Screen as well. He's gonna set up another Leech Seed, which is no big deal. I mean, you can just keep Leech Seed in my boy right there. I think Terrastalize and my Kyogre here is probably in our best interest. And maybe just start throwing Thunders, right? That could be good. So now let's set up a Reflect. Let's go into the Grass Terra. And let's just throw a Thunder into this slot. I mean, we could actually just start attacking you first. Trying to just do some big, da big time damage into Ogre Pond. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Grass Terra coming out here. One, you can't Leech Seed me. And two, your damage is going to be super, super low if you go for any type of uh, Grass move. Plus, we're setting up a Reflect on top of that, so... All right, so we swapped out pretty well. We still have Annihilate. We still have Shen Pao, which is really good, especially with the Focus Ash. And we'll see what Valiant wants to do. I think Valiant tries to take out my Grimstrong here. Yeah. Can you soak this? You don't. That's fine. You got off your screens. You got off of Paralyze. I think it's a solid turn for us. Plus, I think you're going for another Leech Seed. Thunder's going to fly here. Bop. Decent damage. I wish it would have done half. And you're going to be Paralyzed this turn, so not bad. Not bad. So we're sitting on the field here with Kyogre. We can now go into Shen Pao. Shen Pao should be fastest on the field. Are you fast on the field? Hmm. I mean, Valiant outsped Kyogre, so... What's Kyogre's speed? 124. That makes sense. Um. Honestly, I might just give this thing a free water absorb. In all honesty, I mean, you're paralyzed. I don't mind your typing. I'm thinking I'm just going to go into, like, one of you guys and just protect. I'm going to go into Annihilate here. I'm going to go into Annihilate and just protect. That's my play. And I'm just going to go try to drop a a Water Spout here. And even if you get HP back with Ogre Pond, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I need to get rid of this Valiant. I need to get rid of this Valiant right here. So I'm going to go for Water Spout. That's fine. I can Water Absorb this thing. I want this Valiant gone. I want it gone. Go for Close Combat. How dare you. Should have went for Origin Pulse, I think. Its defense does drop, so I think Water Spout should still do the trick. I'm surprised you didn't go after my Annihilate, I really am. Water Spout gonna fly here, and it still does do the trick, so we call for on our end. We still have Vest, we can start bulking up. Um, what are you going for here? He's gonna go for a Leech Seed, which doesn't work here. Cool, because I protected it. Alright, so he's looking to Leech Seed Bulk. Um, I could double down into it. You could go back into me right on, which I could see happening. At that point, I wouldn't. I would just want to like ice beam that. But, I mean, this thing's probably doing a ridiculous amount of damage, which is scaring me the most, right? It is definitely scaring me. So they still have Terra too. Don't be me right on. It's definitely me right on. Yeah. So me right on's gonna come out here. Um. Huh? What's my play here? Definitely drain punch. I need some HP back. I think we gotta start going after you. And then just go for the Ice Beam in this slot. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's gonna end up Terrastalizing. That can be Fairy Terra or Electric. That might just be Electric just for damage boost. Let's see what you got here. Gonna be Ice. Not bad. It's okay. Ice Terra. Should've went into an Origin Pulse. Terra Blast gonna fly here, and that's just gonna take take out my Kyogre. So he's gonna take out my Kyogre. He's probably gonna try to Leech Seed my Annihilate. Oh, and actually Kyogre survives. You bulky little boy. Ice Beam now flying, doing like negative five damage. Could have been better. And Drain Punch gonna fall behind and hit this thing for super effective. So that's good. I have Sucker Punch on my on my what's it called, which is really good for that. And you're paralyzed this turn. That's massive. That is massive. So either way, we're getting rid of this. Uh, this me right on. Who honestly might just swap here. I think now's a great turn for us to just bulk up. I think now's a great turn for us to bulk up. I'm gonna go for bulk up. I'm gonna try to just KO this me right on. If I can. I mean, you could go for Electro Drift, which is kind of scary. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. It is scary, but if you go for Electro Drift into Annihilate, then we're just gonna KO you with Kyogre. And I'll have Shen Pao. But my thing here is I think you go after Kyogre here, right? Yep. You go after Kyogre. I'm going to be able to bulk up this turn. Maybe I should have KO'd the Miraidon, but I'm going to be able to bulk up this turn. And then I can sucker punch this uh, Miraidon next turn. 
which is actually good news for us. And your terrain's going, so we're not really too worried about it. Not really too worried about it. So bulk up comes out here. You're probably going for a lead seed. Maybe we could dodge it. You could still be paralyzed, which would be awesome. And you are. So this paralyze is just kicking this ogre pond right now. Rain's going to stop. And I can bring out Shen Pao with the lovely little focus ash. With the focus ash, which is huge. Now the question is, do I go for... Do I even go for, uh, what's it called? I don't even think I go for Sucker Punch, because you could go for Follow Me. I think I just do that, and on top of that, I just go for, like, an Ice Spinner. I think I just double down into me right on. Just make sure this thing dies out here. Should've went for Sucker Punch. He's gonna end up going for a nice little... Little Terra Boost it. Terra Blast, and we soak that, no problem. This is still gonna work fine, because Ice Spinner can fly in this slot. KO you. I still have Focus Ash, which is good news, and this Dream Punch could fly over, which is now plus one boost. So, awesome first match for us so far. Paralyze is definitely helping us out, but still, I think we played that one really well with Screens. Dream Punch going to fly here, plus one, doing some big time damage. Show me your Paralyze three turns in a row for the hat trick. Give me the hat trick. This will be hilarious. No, he ends up finally getting his lead seed that he wanted this whole time. So, he finally gets off the lead seed he wanted to. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Now, who's your final Pokemon? It's a real question. Hopefully, it's a physical attacker because I have this defense boost and reflect up. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna end up being Volcarona. Okay, Volcarona, you're actually kind of scary. Man. You're actually kind of scary. Um, and yeah, I could drain punch that thing. Could go into a Rage Fist. I think I'm just double down into this thing, right? I'm gonna double down into Volcarona here. He's going to be paralyzed. What were you going for? Follow me. That works fine. That works wonders. Yo, this paralyzed is just chipping away. He's going to end up going for a quiver dance here, it looks like. Yep, he's going to quiver dance boost up. Looking a little scarier. Now, we still have focus ash, which is great news for us. And I think next turn, we just try to get rid of this. Uh, We just try to get rid of this ogre pond. But Rage Fist, how much damage are you doing? Come on now. Leave you on one? We really just left you on one. And you have a berry. That's just ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. And light screen gonna wear off here, isn't it? That's actually crazy. We might lose this one now. I hate to say it, we might lose this one. We still have Focus Ash, which is good. Which is really good. But the thing is, if I can KO Ogre Pond this turn and have Focus Ash, we're gonna be sitting in a pretty good position. There goes our light screen. Which is pretty bad for us. Um, From here, we're going to go for a Rage Fist. I think Rage Fist is just doing more damage at this point. And we're going to go for an Ice Spinner. I think Follow Me definitely pops out here. And we're going to look to KO this thing. And he's going to be paralyzed. He's going for Follow Me anyway. If you're going first, he's going for Follow Me. Or Spiky Shit. He's, he's going to land a Heat Wave here. I'm going to Focus Ash up. And we should be fine to win this game. Unless you burn my Shen Pao here. Cool, you didn't burn my Shen Pao. So Ice Spinner flies. Should finish you off. It does. We get a crit. It didn't even matter. I was going to KO regardless. Rage Fist going to slide over. And finally, we win this game. So long drawn out match number one. Solid all around, all around. And honestly, this Rage Fist KO with the burn. It still does. Cool. Awesome. Love you, Annihilate. Way to clutch it up. Even though you left the one HP bandit on the field. It's all good. Let's go hop into a second match. Look to go back to back with this squad. First match went pretty well. We ended up picking up a W. Now we're going up against a Coridon team. So it is going to be a Weather War. Another little off meta choice that they do have on their team is going to be Skull Villain. Really dope Pokemon. But Kyogre, you're definitely coming in here. I don't think I'm going to lead you, but I definitely want you on the squad. Um, who should we lead though? Who would I like as a lead? Um, I could go Shen Pao. I mean, Shen Pao is not bad. I could go Landorus. Landorus and Grimstarl is not bad. I mean, do I have Protect on Lando? I believe I do. I do. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to go Lando Grimstrong because Shreen's just worked so well in the last match. Bring Kai Ogre. And then last but not least, either Shen Pao or Annihilate. And I don't really know who I should go into. Looking at the team, I mean, this stops Sucker Punch, but I can also... Or indeed he stops Sucker Punch, but I can also break terrain with Ice Spinner. Um, Annihilate's good though. I'm going to go Shen Pao. I like the Focus Ash item too. The Focus Ash item is just so clutch. You guys seen it in the last match. We would have died out to that uh, that Volcarona if we didn't have Focus Ash. But Focus Ash just rocks. It's just such a good item. And it really can come up clutch. Especially as like a later Pokemon. If it's a 1v1, you can almost guarantee yourself getting off a hit in a 1v1 situation. Not almost. Actually, yeah, almost. Because like obviously there's Surging Strikes and all that. 
but for the most part, you're getting off at least one hit. But they're going to end up going into Fluttermane and Coridon, and this is just a good turn for me to just swap into... Swap Grimmsnarl, I think, for... Uh, actually, I could protect and just set a screen. Maybe try to set two screens? Actually, nah. Hmm. I'm definitely just going to protect you right here. And what screen do I set up? So I'm only going to be able to set up one because then I want to swap Nikaya right next turn. Looks like Reflect might be a little bit of a better option, but I feel like they're swapping Crydon, right? So I'm just going to set up a light screen here. It's going to stay on the field for a little bit. Crydon's going to protect, so that's a fine turn by me. I thought it was just going to swap, so H screen, good call on my end. I'm just going to protect the Lando, and we're hoping any attack is just flying into the Lando slot. Even though I could see, like, a, a Moonblast going after Grimstraw. Could be Dazzling Gleam here as well. Now it's going to be Moonblast into the Lando slot. We love that. We love that. So now we have Light Screen up. I think now's a great turn to just swap my, uh, swap my Grimstraw, get Weather Control on top of that boost the accuracy of Sansir Storm. Go from there. We got Vest as well, so I like it. And without the Sun, Karidon's not hitting that hard. And with Light Screen and Assault Vest on my Kyogre, Fluttermane's not hitting that hard. So I kind of like where we're sitting. Unless you have an Ice move. Ice moves do Lando so dirty. Four times super effective. Be a big time problem for me. But out comes my Kyogre. I'm glad they didn't swap Karidon that last turn because that kind of would have threw a wrench in my plan. But now you don't have Protosynthesis, which is good. And Moonblast is going to find Kyogre Slot, which is even better. Assault Vest, Light Screen, Special Attack Drop kind of sucks. He's going to throw a Dragon Call across on the Lando, which actually does a nice chunk of damage. Sans here, Storm Flies. That does awesome damage. And I think from here, we might just want to protect our Lando, in all seriousness, and then just try to go for an Origin Pulse. Even though it's not very effective onto you, I think you swap Karidon regardless, and we can do some big time damage onto whoever he swaps into. I like it. I know I'm minus one on special attack. There's the withdrawal on Karadon, but this should still KO Fluttermane if I can land it. And indeed, he's going to come out. You might even protect Fluttermane. And if you protect Fluttermane, we're just going to hard swap our Kyogre next turn anyway. Be minus one and all that good stuff. We protect the Lando again. Hopefully, another Moonblast flies in this slot. That'd be awesome. And it's going to fly into Kyogre, so we could have just went for a Sandseer Storm. Can I land Orja Pulse? I never do, man. I never do. Indeed, he dodged it. Okay, so that's good. I do get the KO of the Fluttermane, which is really what I wanted. And my Lando sitting on the field with Coridon probably coming back out here. Yeah, that's looking tough. Coridon's definitely coming back out here. So Coridon back on the field. Um, do I try to land a Sandseer Storm into him? Because if I can, that KOs. Man, I'm definitely just going just gonna to swap you for... I definitely want to swap Kyogre. And I am going to try to land Sans here, Storm. Because if I hit Karidon, he's dead. Even though you might attack me. Yeah, we're definitely swapping Kyogre into Grimstone here. Would love to get off a of Reflect. So I'll bring the Kyogre back. And we'll see what they want to do here. We shall see. He's going to go for another Dragon Call and just finish off landing. No big deal. No big deal, and indeed, what are you doing? Going for like a Dazzling Gleam here? <clears throat> you do go for a Dazzling Gleam, that's fine. I mean, Grimstone is going to soak rather well with the light screen. And I could set up Reflect. Now, we're just going to go right back into Kyogre. We have our special attack stat back to normal, and this is pretty much like a free turn to attack. Or I can use it and make a read on him just to hard swap. It's really up to me. Because who do I think his final Pokemon is? I think it's Ogre Pot. So I think by going into Origin Pulse, it's definitely a call. Let's try to do some big time damage, set up this Reflect this turn. And then, kind of go from there. He just protects Karadon, that's no big deal. No big deal. How much damage does this Origin Pulse do? Can I land the Origin Pulse? That's the real question. We already missed one onto Indeedee, and I feel like my Origin Pulse actually is just abysmal. So can we land it on into Indeedee? We do. Awesome. Dope. Big time damage. Big time damage. We love that. That's really going to fly here, and I'm just going to paralyze that Karidon slot here. I'm going to go for another Origin Pulse. Actually, I can't. I cannot, which kind of sucks. I'm just going to double down into Indeedee with this Foul Play, just in case Origin Pulse misses. 
You'll see Helping Hand come out here. Looking to probably go for Dragon Call to finish off my Kyogre. Then you go for Collision Course, which I feel like we should soak. With Reflect Up? We don't. That really sucks. That really sucks. We don't soak that. Foul Play now flies. Indeed, he gets taken care of. And we still have Shen Pao. Chilling here. And what he doesn't know is I have Thunder Wave, but in terrain, it's just not looking good. I want to I wanna drop Thunder Wave and kind of slow him down. I do also have Sucker Punch, which isn't working really well onto the Suck Rhydon. But again, Reflex out and about. He can pop a... Uh, he can pop a what's it called, though. He can pop a Terra still. Hmm, I still have Terra as well. And Ghost Terra is looking really well for me. Especially if he wants to go into Collision Course. I think we go Ghost Terra and just try to finish this thing off. Because if anyone's going for Terra, it's probably Ogre Pond. You know what? I'm just going to foul play this thing. I'm going to go into Ghost Terra and I'm just going to look to finish off Coridon. Who could protect here, but I don't know if it does. I'll be upset if it does. But it's a chance for us to win this game. Because I'll still have Focus Hatch. I can Thunder Wave the Ogre Pond coming up soon. Once this terrain ends. And I'm, if I had to guess, you're probably going for Collision Course into this Shen Pao. And out comes the Terra. That's going to be Fire Terra Coridon, is it? Or is it Fire Ogre Pond? It is Fire Ogre Pond. Okay, so that's okay. That is okay. And I mean, the attack boost makes Foul Play do a little bit more damage, which is good news. Protect comes out here for Pride, and it kind of ruins everything I want to do. Kind of ruins everything. Ice Spinner gonna fly. It's gonna get blocked. And Ivy Cudge are gonna go after. Who are you going after? My Shen Pao. In the rain, we should serve. Yeah, I mean, we have Focus Ash anyway. You get a crit, and it brings me down to 1 HP. That is ridiculous. Ogre Pond hits hard. Foul Play's still gonna fly here. And Foul Play, oh my lord. Clutching up. Big time damage on Foul Play. If you guys do not know, Foul Play does more damage the higher your attack set is. And with Ogre Pond being so high in physical attacking, plus that plus one boost into it, it just. It just does that. <laughs> it does that. So from here, obviously, I can go for Sucker Punch. I think I'm just gonna protect Shen Pao this turn because I think you're attacking Shen Pao. And I'm just going to Thunder Wave this Coridon just to slow it down. Because the one thing I don't want to happen here is uh, us go for Thunder Wave, miss it, and then him KO my Shen Pao. And yeah, just like that. Just like that. And you end up going after Grimmsnarl. This is brutal. We just lost this match. We just lost this match, didn't we? I think we did. Unless Sucker Punch KOs. Unless Sucker Punch KOs. Right, because you're outspeeding my Shen Pao. I believe you are. You really just did that. You really just did that. We need Sucker Punch KO. I have full faith in you. KO this Karadon, please. KO this Karadon. He's going to end up protecting. Just spam Sucker Punch. We're just going to spam Sucker Punch. We need to KO, because we're not outspeeding it. We simply are not outspeeding. Sucker Punch for the win. Come on, man. Come on, man. I really ended up losing this match. Why are you going after Grimstarl? Plus, we missed a Thunder Wave, man. It's just... Come on. That's just terrible. I feel like, as of recently, I've been losing so many matches, or I should say close matches, due to RNG. If we just land that Thunder Wave... It's night night. My Chen Pao then outspeeds the Crydon. We can pick up the KO all day. Maybe I shouldn't have protected the Shen Pao earlier in that game or when I was dropping that Thunder Wave. But my plan was still to land a Thunder Wave and just outspeed it the next turn. So that was my whole thing there. And we ended up missing. So tough place for us. Real tough place for us. But we're hopping into our third and final match. We are sitting one and one going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. And Shadow Rider Calyrex, obviously top tier Pokemon, hits hard. Super fast. They're rocking out with Boot Bonnet. They got uh, Fluttermane. They got Gallade. On top of that, they got Clefairy for support, Friend Guard Clefairy, and Ogre Pond, which they're definitely going to bring in after seeing my Kyogre. Um, I could end up leading Landorus. I mean, Landorus isn't bad. And I could end up leading Grimstar just for screen. Shen Pal's not bad here as well. I mean, Sucker Punch is going to be awesome. But I just think going into like screen Grimstar could be top tier for us. So I am going to end up doing that. And I am going to end up la leading Landorus kind of just like how we did in the last match. So <clears throat> Lando. Grimstar, Kyogre, Shen Pao. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And I think it's a good squad. I think this is a good squad. So, yeah, let's do it. So, Clefairy, Shadow Rider, Kalyx. We actually seen a lot at Sword and Shield days, which was pretty cool, but pretty strong at the same time. I mean, follow me. Then you can also Dynamax, Calyrex. And Dynamax Calyrex was pretty strong considering, like, you just get a damage boost. And then when it picks up the KO, it obviously has this grim ability. Boosting, boosting, boosting. is just doing a ridiculous amount after that. But instead of Clefairy, they're going to end up going into Fluttermane. So, Light Screen going to be an all-in-one package. I could just protect Lando here, or I could attack. I might just attack, or I might just protect here. I might just protect. Which I am going to do. I'm just going to go Light Screen. I'm just going to drop a nice little protect. And the next turn, I can start slowing him down with Thunder Waves. T-Waves work wonders. As you've seen in match number one, Thunder Wave was working miracles up against that Ogre Pond. So if I can get off some nice little Paralyzes, I think we can be sitting pretty fine. So protect Light Screen from your boy. Probably Dazzling Gleam, Astro Barrage. Hopefully no Nasty Pot, right? Moon Blast flies here, which, I mean, does a little bit more than half. And Astro Barrage is going to fly. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Grimstone, I need one more turn out of you. You should soak this. Don't do me dirty like this. You should soak this. Okay, I was going to say. Don't don't, like, don't get a crit or anything. So from here, obviously, we want to slow down the Calyrex, which is what I'm going to do here. Do I want to go into a Terra? Kind of. A little bit. And I could throw Earth Power. Or I could throw Sludge Bomb. They're both going to do the same amount of damage. Um, much I'd like to just protect Lando here. I could go into Shen Pao, but... Um, yeah, no, we're just going to stay with this. Do I want a Terra, though, is the real question. I kind of want to save my Terra. But, I mean, you outspeed me. That's the only problem. If I land a Thunder Wave, will this Calyrex outspeed me? No. I'm going to launch Sands here, Storm. I'm going to go for a little bit of RNG action, even though my RNG sucks. I'm going for it. So he paralyzed Calyrex. My Lando should be faster than that. I think Moonblast stays into the Grim Snarl slot and takes it out. And it does. Cool. Now, as long as I can land a Sands here, Storm, I feel like this is going to be a, a successful turn. And a double land. A little bit of RNG help. Never do. I never do. I never get RNG. At least we do hit the Calyrex, which is good. We half damage that thing. I would have loved to half damage the Flutter main. And he's, and he's paralyzed. So you know what? We'll actually take that RNG trade right there. We'll take that RNG trade. Um, Kyogre's going to be a great Pokemon to go into, considering does it outspeed the Calyrex right now? I think it does. I think it does. So I am going to end up going into Kyogre here. And I think I'm just ready just to send Water Spouts this turn. I have Vest. I have Light Screen up. Sandseer Storm's now 100% accurate. So, I mean, let's send a Water Spout. I could go Grass Terror if I want to, but... I think for now, we just send a Water Spout on its own, and we just go Sand Seer Storm. Cool. So not a bad couple turns for us, especially with Grimstone. We got off the Light Screen, which was good, and we got Thunder Wave onto Calyrex. Calyrex is the main threat on our team. Water Man is their second main threat. So if I can get rid of both of them this turn, I think we could be sitting in a pretty good position. I think we could be. We ends up withdrawing Calyrex. Okay. What are you going into? Ogre Pine. It's not bad. Not bad, you're gonna water absorb up. I mean, I can sludge bomb you next turn. Shadow Ball is gonna fly into the Kyogre side. With Vest, all that good stuff, we soak really well. You get a special defense drop, which is kind of annoying. But Sandseer Storm is going to land. Do some nice damage onto Ogre Pond, which I mean, he's just gonna water absorb and be back to normal. But Fluttermane is going to be dead. Later, Fluttermane. Get on out of here. So Fluttermane, gone. They still have a very slow Calyrex. They still have Terra Type 2. Um, what I could see happening here is him terrestrializing Ogre Pond. I'm going to terrestrialize my Kyogre this turn. He's going to go into Gallade as his final Pokemon with Wide Guard. So that's something we have to watch out for. So no more Sandseer Storms. No more, uh, no more Water Spouts. We're going to go into Thunder here, into Ogre Pond, just in case it wants to terrestrialize. And if it doesn't terrestrialize, we're going to have a nice, lovely Sludge Bomb flying this way as well. I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So he's going to Terrasalize first, and he got... It's got to be Ogre Pond, right? Yeah, there's the Ogre Pond Terra. I'm going to Terrasalize my Kyogre. And we're going to be able to drop a Sludge Bomb, which is going to do minimal damage. But Thunder could chunk it up a little bit. I mean, I know you do get a special defense boost. But I'm hoping for Paralyze. We love Paralyzes today. We love Paralyze today. So we still have Shen Pao. They still have Calyrex. They still have Gallade. Pretty close matchup right now. Pretty close matchup. 
but they don't have Terra. So if I, if I can just Shen Pao in the back end with Calyrex, the one on one's no problem with Sucker Punch. There goes a wide guard. Like I said, we're not using those moves. We know you have wide guard. We're experts around here on the Gene Shen. Sludge Bomb gonna fly here, do a little bit of damage, and Ivy Cudgel gonna launch into Bye Bye Lando. So Lando's gonna die out here. So Lando gets ripped up on. Um, and from here, how much damage can Thunder do? I know it's not stab. It is super effective, though. It doesn't do enough, which is kind of tough. Paralyze? We get a Paralyze. So speed control in our favor. Um, get to bring out Shen Palski. Shen Palski comes out here. As much as I want to just go into an Orange Pulse here, I can't. I simply can't. Um, hmm. I could go Thunder to finish you off, and then I could just Ice Spinner this Gallade slot. I know you probably have a like, Secret Sword, which is scaring me a little bit. Do I just want to protect this turn? No, we're just going to Ice Spinner. He's going to go for Spiky Shield. The good thing I didn't go for Sucker Punch in that slot. Ice Spinner going to fly. I wish I would have doubled down to Gallade and just read, read that. But I get a crit anyway, and I KO this Gallade. Even though Gallade is not that tanky at all, I feel like Ice Spinner still had a shot at KO. But the crit definitely helps us. Definitely helps us. So, finally, a little bit of RNG on our side. They now have Shadow Rider Kylarx. I feel like now is just a turn for us to... What do I even do? We got them both paralyzed. Let me think this one through. I really don't want to throw this match. I really don't want to throw this match. So, they're not going to Spiky Shield again with Ogre Pine. But they could go for Follow Me, which is the scary part. I still have Focus Ash on Shen Pao. But I think I really just go for Thunder here. And I honestly might just protect here. In all honesty, I think that's a simple play for me. Just protect Shen Pao and Thunder and get rid of Ogre Pond. Because even if they do double down into my into my Kyogre, we should still be fine, right? Because what do you have? Ivy Cudgel doing no damage to Kyogre. Horn Leech, that would do no damage to Kyogre. And then anything that Calyrex uses isn't really going to be doing big time damage to me. I got the Soul Vest. I still have Light Screen. I think this is our play. This is definitely our play. So we're going to protect Shen Pao here. Little bit of protect. Calyrex might even protect here, too. And it does. It does. I was going to make that read, too, but I think just playing it smart like this was their best option. And Thunder now flies. So now we're sitting in a pristine position to win the game. We can now just spam Sucker Punch. That's what's so good about having a Pokemon like Shen Pao or a Sucker Punch Pokemon is a lot of people are scared of the Sucker Punch. And like you guys seen in this match right here, they kept expecting us to use Sucker Punch. And we didn't even use it yet. We were just letting them like kind of flail around, flop around, get all scared. And now we're chilling. So now we can go for Water Spout. We can go for Sucker Punch. And that's going to be game, set, match. A nice, lovely 2-1 winning record for us. Sucker Punch finishes this one off. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Decided to rock out with the meta team today. And it prevailed perfectly. Going 2-1, grabbing ourselves a winning record. And honestly, came close to grabbing ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. I loved every Pokemon on the team. But especially my boy Grimstone was coming in clutch with the screens. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.